This isn't going to be your usual Notion setup video. After you watch this video, your idea of Notion setups is going to be drastically changed. I'm going to put Notion to its absolute limit using nearly every single feature provided to me. How's it going guys? If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Hosam. I'm a computer science and biology major at Brown University. And in 2020, Notion had a crazy amount of growth. People were sharing their Notion setups left, right, and center. And I think it would be useful for you guys to see my Notion setup. If at any time in the video you guys do want my template, I have a Gumroad link down below in the description. It's completely free for you guys to duplicate. So make sure you guys check that out. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, comment and share with your friends. If you have any questions about the setup at all, leave them down below in the comments. All right, so let's get right into it. And right in the beginning, we see the three main pillars of my life. We have something that I want to take action on, a goal that I have, and also something that I want to remind myself every single day. And then we also see Tiago Forte's PARA system at play here. So PARA stands for Projects, Areas, Resources, and Archive. So we see Projects, we see our Areas, we see our Resources, and if we scroll down here, we see our Archive. I'm going to be going deeper into each of them as the video sort of goes on. Also on my dashboard, I have this take action center where I have the tasks that are sorted by today, tomorrow, and yesterday. And I'm gonna be going over a little bit about how I do that. And then on the left here, we have our areas. So think about areas as the overarching pillars of your life. There are things that don't have a deadline. So for me, I have research, education, investing. And if you see all three of those don't have a finite deadline. On the other hand, projects do have a deadline and projects make up areas. So let's take a look at the project, YouTube 20K subs in the area content creation. So let's take a look here. So right in the beginning, we're able to see the power of relational databases. So right in the beginning, I'm able to relate this project to the area content creation. And if I go to the content creation page, I'm able to see the projects that I have listed for this specific area. So that's incredibly useful. And then we also see that this project is related to the tasks database. So the way that this works is that I have a task, which in this case is a record notion setup video, and I relate that to this specific project. I also have this progress bar right here. So the way that this works is that the progress bar listens to this done attribute. And if I click it, it will adjust the progress bar accordingly. So I only have one task for now. So if I just click it, it'll go to 100%. But if you change up the number of tasks, the loading bar will change accordingly. And next we have resources if we scroll down here. So resources is probably one of the most important parts of this entire setup. So as I grow this channel, I'm actually able to put in this resources bin, maybe some successful videos, successful thumbnails, successful channels, so that I can draw some inspiration from there. So right now I have a specific tweet that I want to revisit later on. And the main key is that all these tables are filtered by the project YouTube to 1K subs. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. So with this filter, I'm actually able to look at only a subset of all three of these databases. And so instead of having to go through all the tasks, all the nodes and all of the resources, I just have to look at those that are related to this specific project. Then if we scroll down here, we sort of see a visual representation of the tasks. And pretty much with the power of relational databases and having this all on one app, I don't have to go to my downloads, my desktop, my bookmarks on Chrome, my loosely paper, everything is right here. All I gotta do is go to one specific project and get so much work done. Then let's go back to the dashboard and we can take a look at my daily optimization. So firstly, instead of having a ha separate habit tracker app, all I have to do is put my habits on this specific day and I'm able to check them off if I've done them or not. And similar to the projects, I also have a loading bar equation. So depending on whether or not I got a task done, I can just check it or uncheck it. The loading bar is going to change. Another really great visual way for you to keep track of the tasks that you've gotten done. I also have right at the top, the daily highlight. So this is a really important part of the make time framework, which I tried to base this daily optimization off of. I highly suggest watching Ali Abdal's video on make time, which I'll probably leave linked down below in the description. 
And I also highly suggest reading the book. I think it's a really good book and gives you a lot of tips on productivity. So every single day, you want to give yourself a highlight zone to make your day a little bit more meaningful and something to define your day. And then I also have improvements. So at the end of the day, I want to look back at my day and see what could I have done better and what should I look forward to changing in the future. So keep the daily highlight and the improvements in mind. I'm going to revisit them later on in the video. I also have some journaling inside here. This is a template from the Notion templates website. It's called the three minute journal. And I highly suggest you checking that out. And also if you guys do want to change up the questions, you can definitely do that. Something else I might change about this daily optimization is in the bottom sort of have all the tasks that I've gotten done in this specific day. And then maybe also have a time for reevaluation to write down what's going wrong and what's going right in my entire day. But if you guys do want to add that, you can definitely do so. And maybe I'll add it and do it in a separate video. And then we're actually able to see the power of relational databases one more time here. So in this day, May 3rd, I can actually connect it to this entry in the week database called the week of May 2nd. So now if I go back to my dashboard and I scroll down to the weeks and I can see May 2nd, I can see all the days that I've related to this specific week. Then using a roll up, I'm actually able to look at all the daily highlights from all of those days right here. I'm also able to look at all the improvements for all those days. Then I can also see the average percentage of habits that I've completed. So this is really great. And sort of when I'm doing my weekly review or weekly reflection, I'm able to look at my week and see what did I actually get done and what should I improve for the next week. So instead of having to visit every single page individually, I just use a roll up and summarize everything right here. Now I also have a weekly reflection with some questions and some to-do lists so that I can clear my mind and get ready for the next week. But that's not even the best part. The best part in my opinion is the inbox enhancement. So let's take a look at my inbox page right here. So this is incredibly useful for people who have a ton of ideas, a ton of resources, and they just don't know what to do with it. One of the biggest mistakes that I've had is that I have so many tasks and so many ideas, but I never make them actionable. Using this inbox, I'm actually able to do so. So if I have tasks or if I have ideas or something, I can directly put it right here. And I actually have this favorited on my phone as a Notion widget. So all I have to do is click this widget and quickly type something in and it's right here. But we can actually take this one step further using the nifty man integration. So all I got to do is command H and we see the inbox page right here. So maybe I have a task, which is like, uh, release this release, this video and bang, it's right here in the inbox page. Now, if I go back to my dashboard, it will show up on the right. And all I have to do is sort it out. And how long did that take? That took maybe about two seconds. Think about all the ideas that you're gonna now have in your second brain because of this simple nifty man integration. Now, just as I mentioned, I'm able to go through my inbox and sort it out. So let's take a look at this task. So the area is going to be uh, content creation. The day now pay very close attention to this. I'm gonna have it as Monday, which is tomorrow. And the due status I'll have as Wednesday and the project I will have as YouTube to 1k subs. Make sure you guys subscribe. Now, the moment I relate it to a project or an area, it gets kicked out of my inbox because I have the filter where the area is empty or the project is empty. So that's really good. So I can have my inbox as clean as possible. And so I know exactly what tasks I have to sort out. So finally, let's take a look at this take action section. So we can see that this today view is filtered where the current task contains this star. Let me explain. So if I click on this task, we can see that depending on when I change the day, it will change the value here in current task. So today is Sunday. So if I switch it to Sunday, it becomes a star. If I switch it to Saturday, it gets this hand sort of pointing to the left. If I switch it to tomorrow, it gets this hand pointing to the right. So let's switch it back to Saturday, which is yesterday. Now, if I go to the database view for yesterday, I can see that exact task. Why? Because it's filtered based on this hand 
pointing to the left. Then if we go to tomorrow, I'm able to see the task that I had just sorted. And the reason for that is that these are filtered to the hand pointing to the right. And the day is tomorrow, which is Monday. This is incredibly useful for you to plan out your days. And then you'll be able to see what tasks you didn't get done yesterday and what tasks you have to get done tomorrow. Now, I also have a weekly view, which allows you to see all of your tasks on like a weekly basis. And maybe, you know, you want to release this video today, which is Sunday. I just shifted it over. And now if I go to today, it's right here. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you guys did like this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, comment and share with your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.